everyone thank you for tuning in today's video i will show you the best way to clean catfish and to smoke it in the oven i am rosie you are welcome to my kitchen here i have one large catfish which i will be cleaning and i also have some medium sizes catfish as well i will be using salt and lemon to clean the fish to begin i will add some salt to the catfish squeezing the lemons you can also use limes as well the salt and the lemon will help take out the sliminess from the catfish and lemon also help cut down the smell of fish so i run the top over the fish as you can see the sliminess is already coming out and you don't want to eat this so i'll be showing you the best way to get this off the catfish I'll leave it inside the water for about 10 minutes. So it's been 10 minutes. I let the water go and then we'll go ahead to clean the fish. And I'm using the lemon to scrub the catfish. So I'll clean every single part of the fish. Next, I will use a knife to scrape off the skin of the catfish. So I'll flip to the other side and then clean it until all the part of the fish is nicely clean. And as I go on, I'll open the tap, rinse the fish, and then keep cleaning the fish until the fish is nicely clean. So at this point, almost all the black things from the catfish is gone. So that is done and I'll use a kitchen scissors to remove the whisker and the fins from the fish. Once that is done, I will also be using white vinegar to clean the fish and I will spray the catfish with white vinegar and this will help cut down the smell of fish as well. So when you're making your fish, it will not even smell as if you're preparing fish in your house. So I'll rinse the fish with warm water. that is done the rest of the fish i have them soaked with salt and lemon water and i'll be cleaning them off camera next i will cut the fish take out the internal organs and rinse them and that i'm going to be doing that off camera as well so i have the fish nicely clean and cut to season the fish, I'm going to be using liquid smoke and smoke salts. 
so the smoked salt is going to give the fish smoking flavor which you will get if you dry the fish with firewood so since i'm going to be drying the fish in the oven and i want the fish to have a smoking flavor so i use smoked salt you can use any salt of your choice and i'm going to be using a tablespoon of that next i'm also going to be using liquid smoke which will give the fish a smoking flavor as well and this is totally optional you can use any season of your choice to season the fish and i will go over it with my hand and then massage everything over the fish the liquid smoke and smoke salt i got them from walmart I'll cover and leave it to marinate for at least 30 minutes. Next, I will line in the baking tray with parchment paper and I will collect the oil from the fish and prevent it from smoking in the oven. And I will place in the rack and brush the rack with oil. And this step is very important. It's going to prevent the fish from sticking to the rack. So it's been 30 minutes. So I'll go ahead and then transfer the fish on the baking rack. And I'm going to transfer this inside the oven and I have the other fish ready to go in the oven as well. So I'll be grilling the two pan in the oven at 350 degree Fahrenheit. I'll cover the oven and allow the fish to bake. The fish is be baking now for three hours. So let's see how the fish is doing. You can also flip them at this stage. I'll check and at this point the fish are not yet dry the way I want. So I'll send them back in the oven and leave them to bake for another three hours. So the fish are out of the oven and I bake them for a total of six hours. And this fish is very dry as you can see. And they smell just as if they were grilled with charcoal. This fish smells amazing. You can make any soup of your choice with this dried fish. We are not yet done, so keep watching. I will transfer the dried fish into a basket. There are two reasons why I always dry my fish during summertime. Number one reason is because I'm going to be drinking Gary with this dry fish. Number two reason is because I'm going to be sun drying the fish. So this basket here doesn't have a cover. When I take it outside, I'm going to cover it. So I will send them under the sun and sun dry them for a day or two so they can be very, very dry. So I will cover this one with a net. If you enjoyed this video, please give the video a thumbs up and share the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Remain blessed. I will see you in my next video. Bye.